So in any event, let's talk a little bit about life aboard there. Uh, any challenges uh, in terms of uh, being aboard the International Space Station? Oh, you know, mostly it's it's about uh, making keeping track of everything. You know, if you don't tie it down with some sort of tether or some sort of Velcro, the darn thing will float away. So your tools, your your clothes, your food, pretty much everything. Um, what you know, it's awesome because you get to see it floating, and that's just cool. But it is a little bit frustrating sometimes when you go, "Where the heck did my pen go again?" It appears as though it may be a, a tad claustrophobic. What's the space like? Do you have time to, for some private time to get away from the rest of the crew? You know, we do. We have, uh, at night, uh, after all the work's done, uh, we'll have a, a little bit of time to maybe look out the window, take some pictures, uh, call home, uh, email, do, do uh, things like that. So you do have a little bit of private time, which is nice. Um, as far as the station itself, you can see around me, um, the inside the station is, is pretty large. It's about the size of a five-bedroom house. And with only five of us up here, uh, after Friday, there's only going to be three of us up here for, for almost two months. So it's a lot of room, and you don't really get too claustrophobic. The going up and down on the Soyuz, that's, that's a pretty tight fit, but uh, it doesn't last that long, so it's not so bad. I noticed on your recent spacewalk, you had a big smile on your face. Uh, that must have been quite the experience. Tell me about what that was like. Well, you can ask MCC. I have a big smile on my face most of the time because I'm floating, and it's awesome. Uh, this the uh, spacewalk is is just, you know, when you when you look out the window and you see this beautiful landscape, and then you walk outside, and when you walk outside, you're you're more of a part of it. You can feel it. You can smell it. It's almost like you can taste it, and that's what it is, you know. From going to the from the ground to orbit is a mind blowing uh, perspective change. Being able to see that thin blue line that that holds all life on Earth and and how beautiful it is and fragile it is, and then to get outside in it is almost an order of magnitude cooler and and just you become so much more a part of it. Uh, looking up at the stars with nothing, no atmosphere in the way, no light pollution in the way, or down at this amazing planet we call home. Uh, it was absolutely the coolest uh, work experience I, I've ever had. I have to say, you know, experiences with my wife, those all, those all top them. But work experience, it doesn't get any better than this. I would imagine not. I've noticed on your Facebook and Twitter feed some beautiful pictures of Earth, and those would include some storms and cloud formations. Uh, you've got a unique view from up there. Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, Peggy and I were taking pictures before our spacewalk of one of the components we were going to work on, and we were down in the Russian segment and looking out one of the modules, and there was this massive storm. And, you know, you see lightning every now and again. Somebody will catch a picture of it, and it looks beautiful. But looking at this storm, there was lightning in the cloud, between the clouds, over the clouds. It was the most amazing thing uh, that I had ever seen. It was, it was as far as, as a storm, um, and it was so beautiful. I, I wish we could take pictures of it, but the cameras aren't quite as good as our eyes yet, and we haven't figured out how to get good pictures of that. I've also noticed on your social media feeds pictures of food, um, plenty of them. Uh, talk about your favorite food there aboard the International Space Station. Well, that's easy. It's it's coffee balls because I need my coffee. Um, I'm a military guy, so you know, being deployed, we'll we'll just eat what we're given, and and pretty much if you give me some hot sauce, I'll make anything taste good. But the the thing that I absolutely need is my my coffee balls because caffeine in the morning it's just they're just delicious and fun. Uh, as far as the food though, it's kind of fun to be a little creative and and put some of the dishes 
together. And, and actually, our, our ground team does a fantastic job of giving us a, a wide variety so you don't get bored. Uh, but every now and again, it's kind of fun to mix a few things together and make, make new items. Last night, I, I made a, a salmorito, which is kind of like a burrito with salmon, but not really. And it was still delicious. Sounds pretty good. Down here on Earth, the headlines are filled with talk of the Russian investigation into the election uh, these last several months. And while this is going on up there in space, you have a great example of cooperation between these two countries. Oh, absolutely. I've said it before. I'll say it till I die. The International Space Station is the best example of international cooperation in the history of humanity. We had 15 countries come together and make this incredible floating laboratory. Uh, we work together every day, training crews and getting them ready to come up here and work as one team. Um, my uh, my commander, uh, Soyuz commander Fyodor Yurchikin and I uh, had a patch based on the Apollo Soyuz uh, patch, which we then uh, added the words Adna Commando, which is one team, because we are. We're one team working together to explore the universe. And if we are ever truly going to explore and, and uh, help, help humanity take that next evolutionary step, we need to work together as one team. And we do it here every day. a myriad of experiments and research projects while you're on board the ISS. Uh, any favorites? Man, it's hard to nail down a favorite. There's so many cool things going on. Over a six-month period, we're doing almost 300 experiments uh, aboard the space station, ranging and things that'll help us make new drugs, new... Uh, we'll, we're growing protein crystals, uh, investigating viruses, genes, uh, bones, uh, it, all sorts of physiology. Um, Peggy's in the other room right now. Uh, taken apart a uh, Nanorax CubeSat deployer. And over the last two weeks, we, we shot off 34 satellites doing all sorts of different things uh, using the Japanese module uh, airlock and robotic arm and then this platform called Nanorax. Uh, Tomas around the other corner um, doing a study on uh, vein uh, vascular health and, and what the effects in orbit are. So I mean, all day, every day is just a, a menagerie of, of interesting work and, and exciting investigations. Uh, we're, we're all excited to be a part of this and, and whatever great discoveries come from the space station. Well, Colonel Fisher, our time is up. Best of luck, and uh, thanks for joining us here in Denver today. Hey, I just had to show you my pajamas. I didn't wear them, but um, you might recognize... The colors. Just saying. And and they also double, you know, in case I get lost or something, Peggy and Tomah can find me when I'm wearing these. <laughs>